Okay, everybody, so we decided we were going to put the dog pen up, you know, for the puppies. Uh, we're going to fence in this little grass portion here uh, with um, temporary fencing we got from the tractor supply. And uh, we got this for uh, just under $300, you know, for 200 feet of it. And the uh, what was the price of the 10 by 10? It was like $350 or something. Yeah, it was something like that. For 5 by 10 pen, yeah. Uh, so we'll show you how we're going to do this. Hopefully this will not take too long. I lost the bet, so I'm wearing my hat for third perfect. And uh, let's get to it, yeah. Hello guys, you know, is um, is wanted to come on here real quick and tell you uh, we should I uh, should uh, throw some screenshots up. I'll put links in the description if I remember to what we got. But the dog pen I was talking to you about was uh, 10 foot by 10 foot. I believe it was five feet high. It was 320 dollars in tractor supply. And uh, to put this into perspective for you, we paid. I think we paid seventy-five dollars per roll because it was on sale at the time. It's not on sale now. To reflect the screenshot here, uh, we paid seventy-five dollars a roll, so that was hundred fifty dollars for a two hundred feet roll of the four foot tall, um, two inch by four inch welded wire uh, fencing, and we paid uh, four something per T post here. The price was the same as the screenshot I show you. And we ended up only using half of what we bought. We bought four bundles, or sorry, we bought five bundles of them. Um, five bundles of five. So we had bought 25 of them, and I'm going to be returning 10 of them. So we used 15 all said and done. And so, you know, to do the math real quick on that, it was like $75 or something um, after tax and crap for, uh, for the T-Post, yeah. So we are uh, at that point $225 into the project and the post, the post driver you see here, yeah, that was $25 and I would highly recommend buying that. It made life very easy versus uh, trying to swing a sledgehammer and crap. And these are six and a half foot uh, T-posts. We put them two and a half feet into the ground and they seem to be sturdy enough. You know, uh, we have our two attack dogs, our Pomeranian and our Kakapoo, you know, they each weigh maybe 15 pounds. And um, our watchdog, you know, our German Shepherd mix, he's uh, he's afraid of the fence anyway, so he's not going anywhere near it. But, um, yeah, at the end of the day, it was not a hard project. And um, I really think that anybody would be uh, hard-pressed to beat it. We did get lucky, we used the, the house as the, you know, the fourth wall here or whatever. Um, so if you were doing this a freestanding, you'd have to probably buy another roll of, um, of the mesh or the, the fencing and you would end up using all of the, the T-posts that we originally purchased. Um, so realistically, you'd be into this project about $400. Which at that point, you know, I'm going to just take a guess at the... Um, that our our pen here is probably about 30 35 feet wide maybe and uh, is at least 60 to 70 feet long you know um, and to get that type of size by buying the prefabricated 10 by 10s you know you're, you're looking at well over probably over fifteen hundred dollars I don't think it's worth it um, I think everybody should give this a go it's a really easy project and um, the clips that you'll see us putting on to hold the fencing to the post they came with the post from the tractor supply just make sure that you ask for it they gave us way too many just because they had so much on hand um, there's no extra charge on that and uh, I you'll see later I talk about the gate um, I'm not doing it like that anymore I don't want to rely on the the bending of the wire to be a hinge because it will fatigue and break um, so what i'm going to do is go back to the tractor supply and get hundred dollar pre-built six foot gate um, and i'm going to go to the homing depot and get uh, two fence posts six foot fen fo fence posts and i'm going to hang the gate freestanding you know and uh, then it'll be fine it'll be all done we'll have nice six foot gate get the mower in and we'll have uh, We'll have good finished dog pen at that point. Dogs love it. They get to run around. They're very happy. We're happy. It doesn't look terrible. And it's only, uh, you know, it's only kind of temporary at the moment. So, hope you enjoy. And thanks for watching as usual.
Okay, everybody. You can see now it's done for uh, today. This came out okay. We're, we're uh, you know, we're happy with it for what we paid. Dogs will be uh, good and happy with it. Uh, we're going to eventually fence in whole property, but this is temporary solution. Um, you know, I'm going to uh, I'm going to wrap this with pipe, and this will uh, I'll put some carabiners on it. You know, it'll become a temporary gate. We get the lawnmower in, but uh, for realistically, we use two bundles or so of uh, of the post, so we'll be able to return. Um, we'll be able to return ten of them at four dollars a piece. Um, we only really used about a hundred and uh, probably 150 feet of fencing. Still got that roll over there left. Um, but yeah, you know, for literally half price of what you uh, would pay to buy a pen, you could make your own. In uh, it's been uh, it's, what would you say, wife? It's been like three hours, three and a half hours. Yeah, it's been it's been about three and a half hours now. Um, pretty not pretty not bad, you know. We did get this post pounder thing from Tractor Supply, twenty five dollars, money well spent. Um, yeah, basic uh, the principle here is you know get out and do something, try it. Is uh, you'd be surprised what you can do. Is you happy, little ones? His money well spent, yeah. <laughs> Shy. <laughs>